Hello guys and welcome back to this another Minecraft tutorial. So yeah, you can probably see, probably see right now it is pretty crazy with mobs around here because I have a pig spawner, a zombie spawner and a cow spawner and you're probably wondering how do I do this? And I am going to be showing you how to get custom Minecraft spawners in Minecraft. So yeah, I think there's probably quite a few tutorials out there but I'm just going to make this really simple and to the point and so everybody can do it. So yes, right, you will need a couple things for this. A lever or some sort of redstone, command block and a couple of commands. So right, the first thing you what you want to do is get a command block and to do this you want to type slash give your player name minecraft colon command underscore block so just like that and then it gives you a command block as you can see I now have five command blocks right so then what you want to do is actually let's just go out into the open space because there's so many mobs around so hard to see right so right. put the command block down and then what you want to do is in this command block is how you're going to get the custom spawner so just t follow everything I put in the command block and yes yeah, so right so you want to type slash set block just like that and then um a squiggly line wherever it is uh just above the ha um hash key and then space and then another so you should have three um squiggly line things can't think what they're called all with a space in between them so just like that um, and then you, what you want to do is type slash minecraft and then colon mob underscore spawner and then uh, zero replace and then um, a curly bracket and then you want to type entity with a capital E entity ID with a capital I colon and then the mob you want to spawn so all of the mobs and items you can spawn with command block um not command blocks with spawners will be in the description of this video so I'm just going to do a um let's do a cow so I can just show you this does actually work so a cow and then a curly bracket again at the end sorry I've accidentally put two so yeah a curly bracket to end this off make sure the cow or the mob type has a capital um, letter as well so capital E capital I and then capital for the mob and then press done then what you want to do wait actually I forgot to mention you know the um, say if I wanted to spawn the um, spawner uh, let's say three blocks above what where the command block is now I type thus slash free so in theory this is the coord coordinates from where the command block is so I think this is X Y and then Z so yeah I'm just gonna leave it to where this um, command block is now so I'm just gonna press done and then I'll show you that again after and then what I'm going to do now is to put a source of redstone on the command block and then simply just power the redstone and then as you can see it spawns a spawner and as you can see it also spawned a cow pretty instantly like that um so yeah that is about it but i'm just gonna uh show you this again so slash set block no space and then the squiggly space squiggly line squiggly line squiggly line and then you want to type slash minecraft colon mob underscore spawner zero replace and then curly bracket or curly brace whatever they're called I can't, curly bracket curly brace oh, I can't remember entity ID with capital I and capital E remember uh, colon and then let's try a wither I don't know if this will actually work guys Actually, let's go instead of a wither, go a giant because I think I'm pretty certain this will work. And then a curly bracket again. 
So then press done. Actually, I'm going to then try and spawn the block. Uh, let's say five blocks above, and then put a um, lever. And then, as you can see, it spawns a giant spawner, and that is crazy. And as you can see, it spawned five blocks above. So, uh, um, mm, let's just get a dirt block. One two three four and then it is the fifth block so yeah that is about it guys so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check the description of this video and i will have all the codes and stuff which you need for this video in the description so yes and don't forget to subscribe for more minecraft tutorials as we have plenty more coming in the very near future so thank you for watching and goodbye